Hello everyone, welcome to Driving Production. In this episode, we'll be freeing up a bit of power on the Mazda 3, hopefully. So in today's episode, we're actually going to be installing a grounding kit. Uh, now, I purchased this uh, off Amazon. It is, it claims to be an HKS uh, kit. I mean, the uh, this was $25 Canadian, so I kind of doubt that it's an actual HKS product. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of different point of views on this product. Uh, type of product. A lot of people say that it's something you might feel a little bit. Um, some people claim that uh, you might feel it more in the uh, in automatic transmissions or even uh, with your audio system, your, all your electronics might, might work better. Uh, some people just say it's a hoax and it's not uh, worth anything and it's just uh, psychological almost. Um, so, I mean, for $25, uh, if there are any gains I think for that price I think it's worth it um, it'll we'll have to, to see it's something that I'm sure uh, someone could if they wanted they could definitely do it to, uh, this kit themselves um, the other aspect of it maybe uh, if we don't see any gains uh, maybe it is a cheaper product and you wouldn't see any gains there so I think it's something that uh, depending on the uh, different uh, different vehicle, you might see different uh, results, uh, depending on if the vehicle is newer, depending on how the wiring is done uh, or anything like that. So it'll be something interesting to, to try out and uh, we'll uh, test it out with this car and see how it goes. Okay, so just uh, unboxing this product, uh, I can see that uh, there's only five wires including uh, included with uh, the kit um, so different lengths too so that'll be kind of interesting to see how uh, it goes and then there's a bracket mountain bra bracket with uh, four bolts included with it so apart from that another reason that kind of makes me think that uh, this is not a uh, real HKS uh, product. I mean, it says, before you use this product, please read the backside instruction. As you can see, there's no instructions. Grounding wire kit, this product can voltage, re reinforce horsepower and brightness of headlamps. So we'll see if it works. So doing this, I think it's a pretty good idea to kind of lay out your wires on where you want uh, them to connect. I mean, some wires are a little bit, sh so some wires are shorter than others, some are longer. So uh, it's a good thing to kind of know where you want to bolt them up to the engine. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, the whole thing that kind of got me thinking of this grounding kit is uh, I read about some other uh, first generation Mazda 3 owners would ground their throttle body to get a bit more uh, response out of the um, gas pedal. So that's kind of got what got me interested in this and then I went a step further into uh, even grounding uh, a few other items. Um, so we'll see what the results are with uh, grounding the throttle body and hopefully a few different areas. Like uh, for me, I wanted to ground the transmission because uh, it is an automatic, so I was hoping to get the shift a little bit quicker. Uh, hopefully it does help for the headlights and uh, supposedly the sound system coming out of the speakers is supposed to be a bit better. So, I mean, these are all claims. We'll see what happens. Before I actually uh, put and bolt down the ground, I'm just gonna take a sandpaper, sand them a little bit so the contact is a little bit better uh, with the body of the car. Uh, that way it uh, grounds better.
Okay, so I just finished uh, wiring everything up and bolting up everything. Uh, so it went pretty straightforward. Uh, so I ended up grounding uh, one on the throttle body, one on the uh, bolt of the um, transmission housing, one on the alternator, and then one ground on the other side of most of the top strut mount. Oh yeah, and uh, I put one on the cylinder head. So apart from that, uh, I'm Looking forward to see if it did anything or if it really didn't do anything at all. Uh, I, honestly, if I see any results at all, I think it's a good buy for 25 bucks. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, I've put everything back together. This is what it looks like. And uh, now it's just a matter of uh, testing out to see if it works. So let's go for a test drive. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you think uh, that this modification is going to work or if you think it's not going to result to anything. I'm going to release the uh, in-car review next week, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time.